In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to download an entire folder from Google Drive. So, if you have a folder full of files on Google Drive, and you want to download that folder and all of the files inside it to your computer, so that you can have that folder and all of those files on your computer, this is how it's done. All you need to do is go to drive.google.com and sign in with your Google account, if you haven't already, to access all of your Google Drive files. And now, once you're in Google Drive, in here, you'll just need to find the folder that you want to download. So, if you just want to download one of these folders here, you can do that. Or, if you want to download a folder that's been shared with you, you would need to click on Shared With Me in this side menu here, and find a folder in here. Or, if you want to download a folder that's inside another folder, you would just need to double click on the folder that the folder's inside. So, we've double clicked on some files to go inside that folder. And now we can see this folder here. So, if this was the folder you wanted to download, you could get to it like that. But, no matter where the folder is, once you've found the folder you want to download, you'll just need to click on the three dots next to the folder. So, click on those three dots there, on the folder that you want to download. And then, in this menu that appears, click Download. And now, as you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner here, it says preparing to download, zipping one file. And that's because you can't actually just download a folder like this. You can only download one file at a time. So, Google Drive will actually zip up all of the files and the folder into one large file called a zip file. And then, you can download the zip file to your computer and take out the folder and all the files inside it up out of the zip file once it's on your computer. So, if you have a lot of large files in this folder, it might take quite a while for it to zip them all up. But, however long it takes, once it's finished zipping them all, it will automatically start downloading the zip file. So, as you can see, in the time that Timmy's been explaining this, Timmy's folder has already finished zipping up, and it's automatically downloaded here, so it's already downloaded. In fact, it finished downloading three minutes ago. But, if you had larger files, or more files, or something like that, yours might still be zipping up into the zip file, or it might still be downloading. So, if you had larger files like that, you just need to wait a bit for that to finish. But, however long it takes, once your zip file has finished downloading to your computer, you're ready to go and open it, and get the folder and all of the files out of it. So, the zip file will probably have downloaded to the Downloads folder on your computer. So, if you haven't changed any settings about your downloads or anything, that's really where it'll be. So, you'll just need to open up the Files app, and come into the Downloads folder, however you find that on your computer. And you should find the zip file you've just downloaded somewhere in here. So, as you can see, here's Timmy's here. And the name of the zip file will be the name of the folder. So, some files, because that's what Timmy's folder was named. And it'll add a lot of numbers on the end of it. The start is the date, and then there's some other stuff. Timmy's not really sure what that is. But, it should be pretty easy to find your zip file somewhere in here. And now, once you've found it, you just need to open the zip file and take your folder and files out of it. And this is pretty simple to do, but unfortunately, it's a bit different depending on what computer you're using. So, rather than, rather than trying to show you all the different methods for all the different operating systems in this video, Timmy's put links to different tutorials for opening zip files on Windows, Chrome OS, and Mac OS in the description below. So, if you've never opened a zip file on your computer before, you'll probably want to go and watch the specific tutorial for your computer to learn how to do that on your computer. But, you basically just need to double click on the zip file to go inside it, and inside the zip file will be your folder. And if you double clicked on the folder, 
all of your files and even folders will be inside it. So now all you need to do is drag the folder out of the zip file. So just click and drag it to anywhere else you want on your computer. To me, I'll just put it in the downloads folder for this demonstration. And it might take a second for it to extract the files out of the zip file. So you might just need to wait a bit for that if you have a lot of large files. But then you can go back to wherever you moved the files to, moved the folder to. And as you'll see here, you now have your folder. So you have your folder with the same name. And if you double click on it to go inside it, all of these files are in here, just like they were in Google Drive. And any folders inside that folder will also be in here. So now everything inside that folder is on your computer, just the way it was in Google Drive. And once you've extracted the folder from the zip file, you don't need the zip file anymore. So you can quite safely go ahead and delete the zip file and you'll just be left with your folder full of files. So that's all there is to it. That's how you can download an entire folder and all of the files inside it from Google Drive to your computer. Unfortunately, it is a little bit difficult because you have to get the folder out of the zip file. But once you get used to using zip files on your computer, it's really a pretty quick and easy process to do. And it's certainly a lot easier than having to manually download each of the files one at a time and then create a folder on your computer and put them all into it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want more Google Drive tutorials like this, you'll find them all in a playlist here.